Hi, welcome again to Ink Nouveau, the essence of writing passion. I'm Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company, and uh, today what I'm going to be doing is distinguishing a little bit the difference between the paper that's in the Clairefontaine staple bounds and the uh, Rhodia, the Rhodia staple bounds. Okay, um, some people are confused about what's the difference between Clairefontaine and Rhodia. What's the difference between the paper? You know, what's it all about? Well, they're the same company. Clairefontaine owns Rhodia. Um, Clairefontaine bought Rhodia in 1997, and both both types of pads use Clairefontaine paper. But the paper itself is a little bit different. Um, the the staple bound Clairefontaine notebooks use 90 gram weight paper. That's just a little bit smoother. And the Rhodia pads have 80 gram, 80 gram paper. <coughs> Excuse me, 80 gram paper that has just a little bit more texture to it. So if you tend to like more textured papers, the Rhodia is a little better. If you like the smoother papers, Clairefontaine is a little better. Now Rhodia has been around since 1932, um, and they were making their own paper for a really long time, but back in 97, Clairefontaine bought it out, and now it's all Clairefontaine paper. So wanted to clear that up. Um, both premium grade materials, premium paper, uh, pH neutral, archival quality, uh, acid free, um, and what I'll do right now is I'll show you the, the difference writing uh, between the two uh, using using a fountain pen. So here I am sitting down on my desk. I have a uh, one of the tall thin uh, Rhodia staple bound pads and the Clairefontaine uh, small staple bound. Um, they're both ruled. Um, this one only comes in ruled, but this one comes in graph ruled and blank. Um, I like the ruled because I like to use it for to-do lists and stuff. But anyway, um, neat little fact here, the Rhodia logo and the design of these notepads actually hasn't changed um, since they started making the notepads back in uh, 1934. Um, and they, uh, the two brothers that started the company, it's rumored that the two uh, fir trees that are in the Rhodia logo are to um, represent the two brothers that started the company. So these, this design is actually very, very old, but uh, still works for today. I think they did a good job with it. So anyway. The, uh, the two pens that I have, I have a Pelican Pelicano on uh, medium nib with uh, Café de Zeal, J. Herban loaded up in here. And then I've got a uh, Pelican Script, the 1.0 millimeter, um, the Italic Calligraphy pen with uh, L'Arme de Cassis, J. Herban. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and write in both of them, do a little time lapse so you don't have to sit here bored while I write. And, uh, and then I'll go through and let you take a look at both of them. Alright, so I'll zoom in a little bit here and let you see the difference between the two. There's really not, in terms of the performance of the two different uh, papers, there's really no difference um, in terms of, of what the end result is. Um, there's no feathering, no bleed through of any kind um, with either of the inks, either of the pens. Um, the, the calligraphy pen, the script, is a little bit of a wet writer, <coughs> so it's putting a little more ink down on the page. Um, the, probably the only difference that you would see in terms of the actual performance of the paper, this is the Clairefontaine with the 90 gram. Um, there's very little echo or ghosting uh, or show through as it's sometimes called in the back. And then on the Rhodia, um, there's a little bit more, but probably not enough where you would even really notice it. Um, you know, so there you go. That's, that's the difference between the two. It's just a little bit thinner paper. Um, it does feel a little different when you write. Um, because uh, the Rhodia paper is a little more textured. So if you like a little texture or if you like to use pencils too, especially the Rhodia is uh, a little better for that textured kind of, uh, kind of feel. Um, I personally prefer the smoothness of the Clairefontaine. So that's, that's about the only difference between the two. Same, uh, same paper manufacturer, Clairefontaine, great stuff. All right, well, I hope that clears some things up for you. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, I know this was an incredibly detailed uh, one uh, video, but you know, I just wanted to kind of get it out there because I know there's a lot of confusion about the difference between Clairefontaine and Rhodia. The names get thrown around a lot and people don't understand what it's all about. It's the same company, same importer into the U.S. Uh, the retailers like me have access to the same materials uh, for both companies. So uh, if, if you get your hands on either of them, you'll be happy because they're, they're both really good brands with outstanding paper. 
So anyway, uh, thanks for sticking with me. Email me at brian at goulaypens.com if you have any more questions about Rodia or Claire Fontaine in any capacity. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video, and thanks a lot, and I will see you next time here on Ink